The next feature on the Tame is the Keynote feature. So uh, that's really interesting because when you choose your scale, you can then choose a Keynote, which is basically the first note of the scale. And, and you can change the Keynote by adding it manually in here, or you can also um, use the CV in to change um, the keynote. So let's do it manually first. Let's fire up the volume again. It's the same sequence as before. You see this is our C major scale. Let's choose the preset which we have put in before. So that's our user preset. And now if we go and switch this patch scale keynote button to keynote, there's first there's no change except that one the keynote um, suddenly changes its color from green to red. You see here red, green, red. Okay, so now we know the keynote of that scale. Let's do this in C major. See um, here it's now definitely C major because the keynote is C but if we want to change the keynote now we can do this by pressing on the keyboard uh, the note so if we want to go to D major we do that and now you see the scale you see the keynote and now we have a D major scale and that's really great because you can in scale change the keynote and transpose your sequence by pressing the keynote which is great okay go back to the original now as I mentioned the keynote can also be changed by the CV input. So what I'm going to do now is some nice little trick here. I hope this works. As I mentioned, this right knob here is a is basically a CV generator. So I'm going to take the CV2 out from the CV generator and go directly back into the keynote. Like this. And now I can change the keynote um, by changing the CV out of this knob here. Of course you can use anything in your modular, any CV going in here. It should think it needs to stay within a certain voltage range, you find that in the manual, but you get the idea. You can change you can transpose your quantizer by choosing the keynote and you can do that also um, voltage controlled. Now the interesting part here is of course this CV generator here also has a random function and so you can now see it's randomly um, adding a voltage into the keynote and therefore this uh, scale indication is really jumping around because it's randomly um, choosing the keynote. And if we change the beat now, well, it's really quite out of sync of what we've put in the analog sequences. So it's really a great flexible little tool. And um, that basically is now the keynote function of the Tame machine. My last tutorial here is what can we do with the REC switches? So you see or you hear that it's still the same sequence running as before. We have the sequences set up, we have our clock established, CV out, beat out, and CV in here. 
and up here we have a um, C major scale and as before you know we can choose here different keynotes so now if you want to loop and store this loop some keynote change what we can do okay we can choose here how many lengths how many bars this um, loop should have so let's do something with four bars and what I'm going to do now I'm going to store the keynote sequence in by just entering it and as soon as I switch the rec switch to rec it plays back what I entered it's not very intuitive but let's see how this works So what it's doing now, after I switched it to rack, it's playing back what I played before because it always stores what you do while the rack switch is in the upper position. And now the loop is four, four bars long and it repeats itself and that's a pretty neat little looper here. And what you can do, you can now also record your beat setting with the bottom switch. So what I'll do now, I'll change the beats. And now we have on the top side we have recorded different keynotes for our scale and on the bottom side we have recorded different beats and all this is still in sync with our sequencer clock and you see from the beat indicator the different beats which I've chosen with the beat knob So basically I think I've covered all the functions. Um, of course there are some other things here. You have the reset, input and output. And what you can also do, what I never really touched here, is the gate length, which you can switch with this knob, which changes the, the gate lengths of the beat output. But I think you get a hang of, of how flexible and how creative you can be with the tame. Of course now we've done some very melodic things but I think that's also what a quantizer is about. So thanks for tuning in and uh, I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial. <laughs>